Our mosaic of cycle indicators is currently sending more positive than negative signals. With extraordinary monetary and fiscal stimulus, along with reasonable asset valuations and very strong market technicals. These positives are somewhat offset by challenged economic and corporate fundamentals, but those should continue to heal as the vaccines roll out. While we are generally constructive on taking credit risk, delays in additional fiscal stimulus measures, accelerating lockdowns, and uncertainty around the direction of policy under the Biden administration are some potential risks that we will be watching closely going forward. As we look across fixed income sectors, we see pockets of attractive value for investors to consider. First of all, bank loans really stand out to us. Bank loans, which are also known as floating rate loans or leveraged loans, uh, have not experienced the same degree of recovery as other fixed income sectors. Yields on bank loans are generally higher than those on other cor corporate bonds of comparable credit quality. Furthermore, bank loans are usually at the top of an issuer's capital structure, which helps to mitigate risk in the case of a negative credit event. Uh, bank loans are one of our highest conviction ideas for multi-sector portfolios. Uh, we also see opportunities in emerging markets corporate credit. Emerging markets generally have been uh, hard hit by the pandemic in 2020 uh, and are going to experience challenges going forward. What we like about emerging market corporates in certain cases is that their fundamentals are not overly linked to the fundamentals of the countries in which they reside, but their bonds often reflect a premium based on uh, which countries they are located in. Our preferred credits in emerging markets have demonstrated prudence and resiliency in the face of a very challenging environment. As business activity and corporate earnings recover, uh, we expect many of the issuers that we are invested in to naturally reduce leverage. A question we often hear is, should we be worried about the expansion of corporate debt that has taken place during the pandemic? This has been driven mainly by a desire to improve liquidity in today's uncertain environment. We suggest that investors focus on issuers that are most likely to quickly deleverage their balance sheets as the global economy recovers. Also, the technical backdrop looks strong, as rising debt supply has been met by an even higher growth in demand. We would also recommend keeping some cash or other liquid assets on hand. We feel that there will be further dislocations in the coming year, and right now, uh, spreads are not so wide that we think that uh, we want to be fully invested. Uh, we are keeping some cash uh, so that we will have it available to buy as we get dislocations during the coming year. Finally, we're favoring issuers that we judge to have superior environmental, social, and governance, or ESG characteristics. As the world struggles to overcome the downturn caused by COVID-19, we think that it's critical that uh, investors incorporate these factors into their investment decisions. We think that uh, those with stronger ESG characteristics are likely to prove winners, and this is not fully priced into security values. In our view, ESG issues can be meaningful drivers of performance, and we are tilting towards a portfolio that uh, has a, a positive ESG alignment today. In conclusion, we remain constructive on fixed income credit risk, driven by central bank policy, fiscal stimulus, and strong market technicals. We're finding a number of attractive opportunities, both across sectors and within some of the investment themes we've discussed here today. We hope you've enjoyed hearing our outlook. Please visit wellington.com to read our complete 2021 investment outlook and for more insights. Thank you for joining us today. <music>